Okay, you may begin when you're ready. Welcome to the 2013 Financial Conference of Amazon Company. Today, we are going to take up and tackle the financial results of this Fortune 100 company. In the year 2012, in its first quarter, Amazon had a cash flow of 1,152 million US dollars, while on the other hand, it shifted downwards to 85% in the first quarter of 2013, having a free cash flow of 177 million US dollars. On the other hand, for efficiently managing the dilution, the shares of stock of Amazon.com increased a little bit in the year 2013 in its first quarter, comparing it to the first quarter of 2012. In 2012, Amazon had the shares of 464,000 million. And in the first quarter of 2013, we were able to receive a 471 million shares of stock. Therefore, efficiently managing the dilution that's happening and taking place currently in Amazon company. For the return on invested capital, in the first quarter, we had, in the first quarter of 2012, we had a 12% rate of efficient capital structure. However, it significantly dropped down in the first quarter in the year 2013, which only had a value of 1%. For the net sales, in the first quarter of 2012, we received 13,185 million US dollars, comparing it to the first quarter of 2013, which is 16,070 million US dollars. It is therefore up by 22% with 24% FX adjustment. For the net sales, there were 64% of Worldwide total revenue from EGM up by 60% for a year. Discussing about the gap operating income, I'll be discussing to you the shifting of this of these, um, financial structure. First off, in the first quarter of the year 2012, there was 192 million US dollars. While you compare it to the first quarter of 2013, we only had the we spent the operating income of 181 million US dollars. Therefore, the operating income of Amazon.com lowered by down lowered by six percent. In continuation, in the first quarter in the year 2012, there was 732 million US dollars of operating income. But, however, in the first quarter of 2013, it was again lowered down to 665 million US dollars. Now, I would like to discuss to you the consolidated segment of the operating income. In the first quarter of the year 2012, there was 398 million US dollars of operating income. However, in the first quarter of 2013, Amazon.com managed to increase its operating income spending. It is therefore up by 11%. For the consolidated segment options and operating income in the TTM division, in the first quarter of the year 2012, there was 1,500 million US dollars of operating income. And in the year 2013, for its first quarter, we were able to have 1,700 million. 11 million US dollars of consolidated operating income. Therefore, it is a good news for the company. Discussing about the gap net income or the loss, we were able to find out that we, are, we, we, we earned lesser income in the year 2013 for the first quarter. In the first quarter, we had a net income of 130 million US dollars. However, it was down to 37% for the first quarter of 2013. As for the segment results in North America, our net sales were up by 26%, while for our operating income in North America, we, we managed to increase our operating income by 31% in total. Our TTM net sales, therefore, is in totaling to the amount of 36.8 billion US dollars. 
For the segment results for the international division, our net sales were up by 16% and up to 21% if F over X is adjusted. However, for our operating income, we managed to have a decrease with our income. We had a loss. Therefore, we shifted downwards for a total of 130% and thus amounting the TTM net sales for 27.2 billion, billion. The supplemental revenue highlights media. In North America, we were up by 14%, comparing it to the international spending of the revenue, which was only 1%. And if we manage to make the adjustments, we, is, we are up by 7%. These supplemental revenue highlights in media would include books, music, movies, video games and consoles, software, and digital downloads. For the supplemental revenue highlights, electronics and other general merchandises, or what we usually call in our company is EGM, in North America, we were up by 28%, and in the international arena, we were up by 28%, and if we, adju we made adjustments, it would give us the value of 32%. Computer and office, electronics, home and garden, grocery, health and beauty, toys, kids, and baby, apparel, shoes, and jewelry, sports and outdoors, tools, auto and industrial, and digital devices. These are included in our supplemental revenue highlights under the electronics and other general merchandise division. For the other supplemental revenue highlights, in North America, we were up by 64% compared to the increase in the international arena, which is 14%. And if adjusted were made, adjustments were made, 18% is the, is the value. The Amazon Web Services, Advertising Services, and co-branded credit cards are some of the other supplemental revenue highlights that are available. My dear televiewers and my dear investors, the Amazon.com will like to give you the appendix and the basis of our figures. If you would like to subscribe to our monthly monthly issue of the Amazon.com, the financial story, you would be able to receive these information included in our appendix. The free cash flow reconciliation, the consolidated segment operating income reconciliation, the consolidated segment operating income reconciliation. I would like to thank you for viewing this show tonight. My name is Marie, and I am today's Amazon reporter. Thank you very much, and I hope you tune in next time for the next edition of What's the Latest here in Amazon.